Good morning, YouTube. Hope you guys are having a good day. My hard drive is broken. Is my hat broken? My hard drive is broken, and until it's fixed, no Japan part two. So instead, today I'm gonna to be doing an Instagram QA. I asked you on Instagram and on Facebook to send me some questions, and I'm gonna be answering them today while I go to the Seattle Selfie Museum, which just opened up. Actually, it opens up tomorrow, but uh, they're letting us have a little special sneak peek today. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna answer some questions. Check it out. <laughs> Ryan 1K90 wants to know, do you get a lot of girls and then this face? Uh, no, actually, uh, I don't. <laughs> uh, not very many girls slide into my DMs, and I don't really slide into girls' DMs because they have to deal with that enough already. So, uh, long story short, no. Forever alone. Next question comes from Lil Foxy TV, and she asks, "How are you single?" Well, there's a few reasons. I've only been in one relationship in my life. It lasted nine years. We dated from when I was 15 to when I was 24. Since then, it's mostly just been me trying to figure out what it is that I want in a relationship. I am ready, I think, emotionally to invest in a relationship. However, my life is a little bit unstable. Um, I'm traveling a lot. I'm trying to travel a lot more. I am single, partially of my own will, partially because, uh, again, I uh, don't really talk to that many girls, I feel like. <laughs> All right, and then we got a few questions all around like how I started modeling, why I started modeling. We have Adam Fowler, Rakshuk232, Valens, Andres, Harsh Rajgon2, sorry if I messed that up, Paloma Rose asked, why did you start modeling? Basically, I started, um, my friend and I have a video company that we run here in Seattle. We do commercials and spokesperson videos. We also started doing product photography, so companies that we were doing videos for would start sending us backpacks, start sending us jackets, start sending us lanterns. I started modeling all of these products, and then I started having a lot of fun with it. I was like, I actually really enjoy modeling this stuff, and I built a little portfolio up, and then I just one day was kind of like, you know, maybe I should try doing like an actual hop into modeling and stuff like that. I found Mario Adrian's uh, YouTube videos. I followed kind of what he said. <laughs> Within two months, I was on my way to Japan to do modeling gigs. So it just kind of uh, happened really quick. It's crazy. I just realized I never actually answered the last question of when I got into modeling. I got into modeling one year ago, uh, December of last year, so it's been about 14 months. So coming in over there, over okay. here. I'm James, y'all, wants to know, how was kissing a guy? So I went into, um, I did a vlog with Mario Adrian, and we went around the city of Seattle asking people uh, for hugs and kisses, and you know, I ended up kissing a guy for the very first, well, I've kissed somebody before where I did not consent, but different story, different time. It didn't really feel any different from hugging anybody. Like, like I've got some friends where 
like platonic male friends will cuddle, will like kiss on the cheek and stuff like that. So it didn't really feel much different than just hugging a guy, honestly. It was what it was. It was a fun video. Check it out if you haven't already. My guy here is killing it. <laughs> All right. Daryl wants to know any tips for modeling, my friend. Well, make sure you're always moving. Um, make sure that you kind of have, I like to have sort of a set progression that I go through. So I go with, you know, hair first, messing with that, then in front of the mouth, and then grabbing, you know, like the necklace or anything like that, putting hands around here, and then playing with your hands and your rings and stuff like that. So once you have like a progression that you're comfortable with, it helps you because then if you are, for example, working with a new photographer and you don't know how each other work, um, it helps you get comfortable with each other and you can kind of see and play that out. Um, consistency, persistence, and then having like a common routine, those would be what I would say are probably my best like modeling tips. I don't know, I don't actually know how to say it. <laughs> Ask, how did you travel so much when you first started modeling? Tips for going to Japan. Uh, so I could do a whole entire video in and of itself on traveling on the cheap. Um, moral of the story, I'm on some email lists. I got an email saying that tickets for Japan were $350, round trip for 10 days. So I bought those for $350, okay? Then I went on to Model Mayhem on Instagram and I reached out to, I went through hundreds and hundreds of photographers portfolios and I found whichever ones didn't have a white male model I reached out to all of them and uh, basically said hey I'm thinking about coming to Japan I don't know if I am or not but it's like a thousand dollars for a ticket so if you help pay for my airfare on the way there then I'll shoot with you and so then I got three photographers who all agreed to pay four hundred dollars each uh, to help me out there and to shoot with them full day and so I ended up making twelve hundred dollars on my three hundred and fifty dollar ticket to Japan, so that is how I made it to Japan. I hustled my way there. Um, you just, just gotta be smart about it. Prince Bala 899 asks, nudes? So there's a couple different ways this question can go. I don't know if you're asking me if you can send me nudes, in which case don't, unless there's consent. <laughs> or I don't know if you're asking if I can send you nudes, in which case the answer is still probably no, because I don't know you. Uh, but I have been kicking around the idea of starting an OnlyFans, but I haven't known if there's like an interest or what. If I were to start an OnlyFans, it probably wouldn't have like full frontal nudes just like to be straight up I'll probably do some nudes uh, as well as like a direct way of messaging me so if you had any other questions if you wanted like modeling help if you just wanted to talk and, we're, and I'm busy and not answering through Instagram or Facebook that would be what OnlyFans is for so if that's something you're interested in uh, as well as obviously nudes and mirror selfies fresh out the shower all that kind of stuff uh, let me know down in the comments and uh, maybe I'll start up an OnlyFans I don't know we'll kick it around <laughs> And then there was a question from Tommy. He was asking, how do you get the smell out of a dish sponge? Well, first off, I can't smell. 
So I'm a terrible person to ask this. As far as I'm aware, I believe you're supposed to be able to microwave the sponge to be able to get the smell out. Uh, but then again, you can buy like three sponges for a dollar. So my advice is if your sponge starts smelling, if it starts looking dirty, just get a new one. Sam, not bad. <laughs> All right, last question for the night from Fatality Fallen. What is your life goals for next year? So my goal for this year, 2020, is I want to move. Uh, I currently live in Seattle, and I think that if I really want to start seizing opportunities the way that I used to, um, I need to get out of my comfort zone again. Um, I've been making moves, you know, you know, the past few months, but not, I feel like, what I used to be. So, I want to move. And uh, right now I'm looking at the Philippines, I'm looking at LA, I'm looking at New York. So, one of those places I'm going to be um, in the next year. I'd like to sign with a modeling agency, and I would like to begin making more passive income branding, sponsorships, uh, modeling gigs, all that kind of stuff. So... And I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to you all being on the journey with me. This was actually part one of my Q&A because I got a lot of questions. So part two is going to be coming out soon. So if you want to see that, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you know when the next video is coming out. And uh, drop the video a like. And hit down in the comments if you have any questions as well. Maybe I'll try to slot you into the next one so you can comment down below. Or if you have any follow-up questions, comment down below and I'll get back to it. So thank you guys so much for being part of the journey. I love you all so much. I really, really, really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, my hard drive's broken. So I'm going to film some new content and you're going to have it soon. Until then, peace out. Have a wonderful time. Love you. I've never felt this way before And now I know this all for sure I won't forget your last betray I'll never forget this day